developing this morning. The weekend is already getting off to a violent start with the death of a teenager shot in an alley. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Lionel Moist. That shooting happened in Jefferson Park just down the block from a church. CBS News Mike Piccinelli is live with the details this morning. Hi, Mike. Hi, we're here in the 5300 block of Foster Avenue between Long and Longwood Avenues. It was here in this alley that you see behind me where last night a teenage boy was shot dead. It broke my heart. My daughter started crying. My son, who's 11, started crying because they grew up with this boy. This woman, who didn't want to reveal her name, says her children have known Alvin Stoll for at least the past seven years. Last night, just after 9 o'clock, police say the 17-year-old was in the alley when a dark sedan pulled up and someone inside opened fire. At least one evidence marker dotted the concrete while investigators searched for bullet casings and other clues. Police say Stoll was hit in his stomach. He was taken by ambulance to Lutheran General, but was pronounced dead upon arrival in the Level 1 Trauma Center's ER. Neighbors in the normally quiet Jefferson Park neighborhood are stunned that a teenager with seemingly his whole life to live has been shot down. My daughter played with him from probably fifth grade up until eighth, uh, freshman year. They were all good friends. He was a, seemed to be a nice kid, always happy, always smiling. Um, it's unbelievable. Doesn't seem like, I had literally seen him five minutes before just walking. She believes she heard the shot in the alley, but was on the phone at the time and thought it was an engine backfiring. Only later did she learn that her worst fears were realized. And police were back out here in this alley in the last 90 minutes trying to make sure they didn't overlook anything last night. So far, there have been no arrests in this case. Now, we reached out to Alvin's mother, and she was simply too distraught to talk to us on camera. Reporting live in Jefferson Park, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron, Lionel. All right, certainly thinking about that family. Mike, thank you.